we have some pretty difficult conditions to deal with in our territory. So Ergon Energy is a, a regional distribution company. So we have to work from uh, the coastline, dealing with salt and uh, all those sorts of issues and water, as well as dealing with country conditions with the dirt and dust and having to traverse some pretty difficult terrain to get to, the, to a lot of that work. So there's a number of reasons we moved from paper-based to technology. Uh, one key reason is we found it difficult to scale up uh, to meet the customer requirements and the peak demands that can come along. Plus we wanted to empower our workforce by giving them access to a whole range of tools they don't have today. We knew we needed mobile technology. Uh, we wanted to get our field crews involved in that process of making the decision. So we had 20 different criteria we assessed the device against. A um, couple of the, the really key ones for us with its ruggedness, its mobility, um, connectivity. The tough pad came out on top on all of the environments we tested it in. Well, my name's Sean Hales, I work for Ergon Energy in Townsville and I complete service orders via the Panasonic tough pad. Panasonic's tough pad does help us work more efficiently in the field. We work in some harsh conditions up here in North Queensland, uh, whether it be the the rain, the sun or the dust. Um, I personally have, have dropped it a couple of times by accident obviously and it has survived that so yeah no, I'm quite happy with my tough pad. Weight and portability of the device were two factors that we considered in the uh, evaluation in the trial. So the tough pad is very good in both regards in terms of weight and portability. The tough pad is, is quite easily to, um, to read and to enter data with the anti-glare screen and also with the long battery life it um, definitely helps when you're out in the field on long journeys. So being able to charge the device as we drive is uh, very important because it gives us a long working day. Uh, that in combination with the long battery life itself is a very successful outcome for us. One of the key considerations for us all along has been about connectivity. Yeah, the 4G network is important in the field. Um, we use it to get live updates to the tough pad and also to access our manuals. As part of the project was to pick an integrator and work with partners to make sure we're successful. Uh, we worked with Data3 who also engaged AMIT to help us in uh, build the environment for the tough pad. Here at Ergon Energy we do have a lot of different vehicles that we do use the tough pads in. Uh, whether it be a, a light vehicle or a large EWP and the tough pad is easily docked into all those different vehicles. So there were deadlines for the project to, to finish the rollout. We had storm season, cyclone season coming. Uh, AMIT had to work within a three month time frame across 70 locations for 400 vehicles to manage the fit out. So a big part of the benefit for us with field force automation was uh, efficiencies. Uh, we've been able to induce quite a lot of efficiencies for our field crews. We estimate up to about 45 minutes a day uh, as a saving in time with the new ways of working and the technology. We definitely think we're more efficient using the tough pad. Uh, previously we used to get issued paper copies of our service orders and they were getting lost in the field and damaged due to weather conditions and now it's a lot more efficient. We are able to get the jobs directly from the tough pad, capture that data and send it back to dispatch.